It's practically a rule. If you need to know about keeping divers warm, call Dick Long, founder of DUI, Diving Unlimited International. But while we best know Dick for his expertise in keeping divers warm, it's only one of his many contributions to diving in more than 40 years. Dick began diving in 1958 in Monterey, California and discovered his calling in life. It's a disease, diving itis. I've got it. I love it. I want more. In two short years, he became NAWI Instructor 49, attending the first NAWI Instructor training course. Many early divers had to make their own gear, and Dick proved especially gifted at it. His diving innovations and quality were so popular that he established his first equipment business a year after he started diving. In 1960, Dick was already producing some of the earliest dry suits and founded DUI in 1963. There he began developing exposure suits for the R&D arm of the Navy's underwater demolition team. He introduced the first hot water suit in 1965 the success of the hot water suit, which remains a standard for cold water commercial diving to this day, led to Arctic diving with the Navy and participation in Sea Labs 2 and 3. Until the mid-1970s, Dick continued developing commercial and military dive equipment, as well as sport diving equipment. He developed equipment that included helmets, gas manifold systems, bell survival systems, rebreather systems, and of course, thermal support systems. If you want to enter this business and make a living at it, know two things. One, in order to just get in it and make a basic living, you're going to have to be twice as good as anyone else is. If you decide to, to enter the diving industry, that what you're actually going to do uh, is dedicate your life to something. It's a cause. It's a belief. In 1977, Dick sold the sport diving and retailing side of his business to focus solely on equipment design and manufacturing. He committed himself to diver safety and furthering the sport by becoming involved in many organizations, ranging from the National Ocean Industries Association to DEMA. He served on DEMA's Safety Awareness Committee from 1987 to 1989, and in 1993 helped found the Scuba Diving Resource Group. The SDRG launched the Responsible Diver Program, which continues to remind divers about safe diving practices to this day. Besides his involvement as an equipment innovator, Dick has long been a friend of the marine environment. I can see now that I, through the rest of my life, I will have an opportunity to help divers, people, human beings, uh, work to save this planet and make it better than when we found it. In 2000, Dick headed up an effort to convert the retired Canadian destroyer Yukon into an artificial reef. It took hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars, but through Dick's persistence, the Yukon became San Diego's star underwater attraction, today drawing divers from around the world. After decades in the underwater world, Dick has strong feelings about the damage he sees, but he knows that divers are a large part of the answer. If I want to have our future generations to be able to see and know what we have had, we're going to have to do something about it. The people who are most apt and most capable of bringing sensitivity to the issue are divers. People will protect what they love. They love what they can experience. The most personal experience you can have with the ocean is to be in it. It's a very intimate relationship that divers have with the ocean. Share your knowledge. Share what you know. Share what you do. Get more people in so more people will see it. More people will understand it. More people will love it. From an inventor and instructor making underwater exploration safer for divers to an environmentalist making the ocean safer from civilization, Dick Long has spent his life reaching out for diving. Thanks, Dick, for your decades of service, past, present, and future. And congratulations on your 2004 Reaching Out Award.